Patrick, congratulations on the, on the win. A um, couple quick questions. When you meet David on the bench, is that a little bit of, of one eye looking ahead at, at the fixture congestion that you have with Red Bulls Wednesday, Atlanta the following week? And, and how much of a luxury is it when you can get a performance like you did from, from Izzy to be able to keep David on the bench? I don't know. I think uh, what I wanted to see today was the different combination of, of players up front. So I wanted to see the relationship between Joe, Ishmael, Jesus. Um, you know, I know that David is a, is a top player. I know what I can get to with him. And, uh, just for that game, I wanted to try uh, different things, and uh, and there was some good and some bad. But at the end, I think when you have quality players that we have up front that allowed me to uh, to play and to make some tough decisions. And um, that is part of, uh, of my job. And it's not easy. It was not easy to leave David out today. It was not easy to leave uh, Ishmael, Jesus, Maxi. And, and the players, they, have to, uh, they will have to get, uh, to get used to it because I will rotate the players. I will make sometimes the right decision and sometimes I will get it wrong. But players, they will have to get used to it because I will make some rotation. Hey, Patrick, so you kind of go with the 3-5-2 formation again today. Um, is this something moving forward that you're going to try to implement more of? <coughs> or are you going to, you know, just, just for now? I will do it more often. I think we have the players to do it. Um, the first half, I think uh, we had uh, some problems on the uh, especially on the defensive side of it, but you have to give credit to uh, to, uh, to Orlando because I think in the first half uh, they didn't really deserve to go one nil down, and uh, we were quite uh, lucky at time in the first half. Then uh, in the second half, I think when we went uh, with the four three three, yes, we played uh, we played better. Off of that, when what was the difference in the midfield seeing Alex? Ring move into the eight instead of as a center back, and what? How does the midfield look with Ring there compared to when he's still in the center back position? I think we we lost a few games with Ring in the midfield. Uh, we lost few some games when Ring was in between the two central back. I think what is important for me as a coach is to have a plan B. I would say if the first one that I choose doesn't work. That will allow me to go to the to go to the next one. I think today was a, a perfect example. I make a decision to go with two at the back. He didn't work as well as I was expected, and it was really easy at half time to go with the 4-3-3. And I think um, the switch was really good because players understood uh, the two organization. And if you don't try it, I think it will be difficult to do it. So. I like to challenge players as well, and um, and today it was really easy to switch from one system to the other one because players get uh, they get used to it. Whole team win. Congratulations on that. Thank you. A little help there, Mr. BK. You didn't have too much help in the post two times. How well do you think this set you up for Wednesday's third? No, I think uh, it's always win. It's always good to uh, to win the game, and of course. Um, you know, I think the, the twin no is too harsh on uh, on Orlando because uh, they had chances to, to score a few goals, and I would say the twin nil doesn't really reflect the uh, the game. And uh, I can understand uh, Jason can be uh, disappointed, but you know, at time you need to have some luck, and the luck tonight was was in our side, and I will take it. <laughs> because it happened during the season where we played some fantastic football and we didn't get the win. But today the luck was in our side and um, with determination, with uh, patience, uh, we managed to score these uh, three goals and, uh, and it's good for us. I got to the win. Thanks. You talk about having luck on your side. Uh, how do you Going into Wednesday, no luck on a forget talent as well, <laughs> because Ishmael didn't play fantastically well, but he take those uh, he take the free kick really well, and the first chance, the first goal, I think he was uh, it was really good. So with all that said, going into Wednesday, I think everyone here knows in the history of Open Cup, how do you push that luck going into? Uh, I 
think we we have to enjoy the sport uh, tonight. We are in tomorrow Sunday because we want to give ourselves the best chance to to win that game. We're going to prepare the game well, and you know when you win the game, players are quite really in a really good spirit, and the recovery is uh, much quicker. I have to say. Um, you know we uh, I think in a, in a period where it's difficult to have this consistency and, uh, and my challenge to the players is how can we try to go back and try to win two games in a row? I think uh, congratulations Thank you. for the revision. Uh, we see you win in home every time you play in New York to win the team. But when you leave, something happens uh, in another state. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, at home we've been really strong. We have a, a really good support at home. I think the fans today um, make, uh, make make the difference. We went through a, a difficult period where I think we needed their support and, uh, and they give it to us uh, to us tonight. I think that was a huge help for us because that was a, a really difficult game for us. Um, and then, yes, when we play away from home, I think we need to, to change our attitude. I think when we play away, we are a little bit too, uh, too soft. I think we have to be more... Um, we have to think about defending much better than, than when we uh, when we travel. So, you know, we know what to expect when we're going to go there, the Red Bulls, and, um, you know, we will see. Hey, Patrick. Uh, regarding Dabi, do you think he's he's reaching a stage where he needs to maybe mentally accept uh, not having the assignment tonight at the start? Because he's, I think he still probably feels like he's in that mode, you know, if I'm going to play, I start, I play 90 minutes, you know, I think he still has that mindset. But is, does, is, he, does he, is he at that stage where he needs to just be more accepting? No, I think top player will never accept to be on the bench. This is why they had the player that they had. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we and I have a really good relationship with David. We talk a lot and as a coach, I have to think about the team first before thinking about the individual. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough decision, but that is part of my job. And David, Maxi, all the players who are on the bench are not happy to be on the bench. And I would be, I would be upset if I find out that players who are on the bench are quite really happy. So that is uh, that is what I want for them. I want them to get frustrated when they don't play. I want them to come next day to show their frustration, working even harder. And uh, that is how the team will do well. And I think what is important for you guys to understand is that we will win as a team and we will lose as a team. And. Uh, Today was David on the bench, Wednesday will be somebody else. But every single de decision that I will make will be putting the team first. But David is still David and he is one of the best strikers in this league and he is going to he's gonna score goals for us. There is no doubt about it. Ah, Patrick, um, Frank Lampard was named Derby County uh, manager this week. Uh, when he was here, what did you see in him that would suggest he would go that round his post-playing career? Has he talked to you at all about his decision-making around that? No, I'm not, uh, not, I didn't uh, speak to him yet. And um, I'm quite really glad that he made this step um, to, to approach him. Uh, I think I'm not surprised at all. I think when you spend 15, 20 years playing the game, that's the only thing that we know that is that is our passion, that is our life. And I think he he will he will do great because he loved the game and um, I wish him uh, wish him good luck.